looks like fun. <laughs> Watch out. What a mess. Looks like they got a footing up against the wall there and then the ones they got laid out here. So what we're gonna do first here, I guess we'll take a look at it and see. Okay, we are digging footing and loading the dumper. A little six ton dumper here and uh, ah, got a piece of concrete or something there. What that is. Probably an old footing. They've been uh, demo demoing a bunch of stuff out here, but Yes, that's a footing. This is a uh, pretty easy, makes for a pretty easy day loading dumpers. Uh, just got one, so get to take a little break in between them. It actually kind of makes for a slow day, but... Oh, just bumped him. <laughs> oh, darn it. Yeah, they've, they've got something in here that didn't get demoed out. Probably gonna have to cut it out. I got a pier right there next to it, so I can't really... demolition crew forgot to get that one or they just missed it. Maybe they didn't know it was there. But. So we're going to jump back and forth digging one side a little bit and then the other side just so we can keep the dirt or the spoils out of here and make it easier on everybody. Yeah, that thing has got something You just don't want to. You don't. You don't want to just dig yourself into a corner where you can't uh, get your material out or whatever. Just kind of got to think ahead a little bit. Maybe plan it out a little better than. Uh, and I can set up at an angle here so I can swing the dirt just a little further out. Dumper doesn't have to drive off in that ditch over there. Just trying to make it easy on him. Those dumpers are pretty cool, but if you've ever drove one, you'll realize it's, it's it's pretty hard to see where in the heck you're going. You got the dump bed right in front of you. So we're gonna. While he's not here, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of shape this side up. Get it started. I try to stay busy, do things in between dumps, but... Gets to a point you're just moving dirt three or four times. But doesn't really make any sense. So. Probably a good place to stop right there. Anyway, we will uh, probably record a little bit today and maybe try to get this in a video soon.
they decided that we needed to dig this out wide enough to form it because uh, all the rebar they've got to put in there is really tough to get down into around the uh, pier rebar if that made any sense so we are uh, Want to dig it out a little wider and do another step here. But this uh, this is quite a quite a foundation right here. It it pours all the way up to the top uh, of the other the same height as the other footings, but uh, it's just really deep. When they get done forming it up, it'll only be four foot wide, and then they'll have to come in and backfill on both sides of it. But they did, we did some on the other side, and there was like three of them next to each other, and they were having a hard time getting the rebar down in them, so they decided that it would actually save them time just digging it out wider and forming it. I'll have to try to get a picture um, guys are working over across the deep hole there. You can't really see them now, but I'll try to get a picture of the rebar they've got to put in these. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. The amount of steel that goes into some of these foundations. And uh, they're built to last. I mean, they, they design them to stand up for years, I guess. This is some fairly good dirt, not hitting anything hard up here. It's really almost like select fill. Uh, we've got select fill on top and then we've got a layer of kind of sandy brown, I don't know what it is, just kind of a brown dirt. But, and under that, we're getting back into the uh, red clay. Pretty nice stuff. Still loading the dumper out, so got to dig a little bit, weigh a little bit, so not too bad. Easy day.
view for you of the job. Um, that big concrete wall right there in front of me is part of the footing I dug a few weeks back. Uh, we dug a footing down both sides of that and then we uh, dug an elevator pit in the bottom. I don't have any footage. Well, there, by the time you see this, I may have a video out on that. I'm not real sure. But that is one big crane sitting over there. Uh, Manitowoc 300. It says it's an MLC 300. And they got an operator in it. And I don't think he's done anything all day. That's a big piece of machinery to have sitting on a job not working, but... Got my dumper back. I ain't see a jet taking off there, or taxiing, I guess. Southwest flight. Then there's a southwest taking off. Lots of stuff to see around here. I'm assuming this footing is going to continue all the way across beam. There, there'll probably be a beam that comes across and ties into that wall over there. Some pretty trashy dirt we got to dig, to dig here, so it ain't looking real good. But it pays the bills, so that's all that counts. is he can't reach where we're at over here and anytime they move that crane off of that mat he's sitting on uh, big timbers for always call them crane mats or drag line mats or whatever if he ever if, when he drives off of that he leaves ruts in the ground so 